All right, finally, uh, there is a lot of talk right now, a lot of talk about the normalization of relations between Israel and the Saudi Arabia. Uh, there is a lot of talk about uh, the Saudis basically signing a peace deal with Israel and completely normalizing relations. Uh, I think uh, the Saudis would like this. They'd like Israeli technology. They'd like, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia is engaging in a multi-year process of trying to diversify its economy away from oil. It's very difficult for the Saudis because they really don't have expertise outside of the oil industry. Uh, but Israel is right there. It's a neighbor with uh, some of the most advanced technological expertise in the world. And uh, uh, Saudi Arabia would like to access that. And uh, other uh, Gulf states have already signed peace deals with Israel. And the next obvious one is Saudi Arabia. But Saudi Arabia has a price. Uh, and they realize that uh, the Biden administration would like to have a peace deal between Saudi Arabia and Israel as a trophy, particularly given uh, that there was an election next year. Uh, Trump has the Abraham Accords, where the other Gulf states signed a deal with Israel, and Trump is taking credit for it all. Well, Biden would like to be able to take credit for a peace deal with between Israel and Saudi Arabia and be able to, to you know, say, look, it wasn't Trump. I, even I can do it. I don't think that's how he'd phrase it. But uh, and, and so, uh, so Saudi Arabia is basically saying, look, uh, we don't really need much from Israel. Israel, we don't really care that much about the Palestinians. We'll probably want you to make a statement about how you're going to be nicer to the Palestinians. Maybe you can do some symbolic things, some, uh, some symbolic things that involve uh, uh, being nice to the Palestinians for a little while so we can take credit for it. But we don't, we're not expecting too much. But America, if you guys want us to sign a peace deal with Israel... A peace deal that Saudi Arabia will benefit enormously from. But if you guys want me to sign, you want us to sign a peace deal with, Ameri with uh, uh, Israel, you have to promise to protect us. You have to sign a defense treaty with us. And basically, that is what Saudi Arabia is demanding right now. It's demanding it from the U.S., not from Israel. It's basically saying, if you, the U.S., want us to sign a peace deal with Israel, you have to provide us with a defense guarantee, right? It could be an ironclad NATO-style defense guarantee, but we're willing to, this is what I think Saudi Arabia initially wanted, we're willing to compromise a little bit. Um, you know, we're willing to, to get something a little less ironclad. Um, maybe a treaty like what the U.S. has with uh, some Asian countries, uh, you know, that, that would win uh, U.S., congressional approval, but, you know, it might not win U.S. congressional approval because Congress might not want to sign on to a deal like that with a country like Saudi Arabia. So instead, uh, maybe we could do something like a U.S. agreement with Bahrain, where the U.S. basically is protecting it, the Fifth Fleet is based there, and that doesn't need congressional approval. Oh, my God. The United States could basically sign a deal to protect an authoritarian, thuggish, anti-American principles country like Saudi Arabia without congressional approval, just, just with the president signing something. I mean, that's pretty, pretty pathetic. And, and I think uh, it goes counter, I think, to our constitution. Uh, we could also, uh, the U.S. could also... Um, designate Saudi Arabia uh, what's called a major non-NATO ally, a status that has already been given to Israel. Uh, that's not a guarantee for security, but it's a pretty major step in terms of defense contracts and, and making it easy to sell weapons to and so on. So basically what Saudi wants is protection. Uh, this is, should be familiar. This is basically what the Saudis wanted from the United States in World War II. Uh, there was a deal between, uh, uh, you know, the Saudi family, uh, the, the Saud family, the, 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 uh, the rulers of Saudi Arabia, and uh, FDR, which basically uh, exchanged the free flow of oil for security guarantees. So that was done already by FDR uh, in the middle of World War II. Uh, implicitly, Saudi Arabia has assumed 
and we have assumed that we have given them a security guarantee. Indeed, you could argue the 1991 Gulf War was the United States living up to that security guarantee. That one, when you remember when Iraq invaded uh, Kuwait and we kicked Iraq's butt, uh, kicked them out of Kuwait. That was basically at the uh, request of the Saudis, and that was part of this uh, security guarantee. So Saudis want it explicit. They want it in writing. And the U.S. will probably give it to them for peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Politics, politics, politics.